welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be partnering with mega look hair this is what their box looks like they have a nice little slogan your hair your glory and inside of the box there was a lot of things they sent some lashes they also sent this little baggie and then inside of the baggie they had a headband they had um a clip and then they had a decorative hair clip they also sent me an edge brush very very useful a wig cap inside of the bag as well and then they sent me this bang piece y'all at first i had no idea like literally zero type of ideas of what this was like i was so confused but it's one of those bang clips with a little clip in the back that you can just clip onto your hair so i guess it's really cool if you wanted to do that so this is the hair it's 613 18 inch i'm not sure of the density but it'll be in the description box but all I want to say, y'all, is this wig was really, really, really thick. That's what the lace looks like. It was really thick. And honestly, I feel like it was a little bit longer than 18 inches. But this is what we're going to be using today. Some Gatsby Glue Spray. Adore 58 Cinnamon. I'm going to be using three of those. I'm also going to be using a paddle brush, a detangling comb, and then the clear bin to put the water in. So not much. Okay, so this is what the inside of the wig looks like, and I don't like these little elastic band straps because they make it way too tight for me, so I'm going to go ahead and cut those out. You can keep these if you want them, but they just make it really tight on my head, like no matter what wig it is. So inside of the wig, there is four clips, one in the front, one in the back, and then two on the sides. And what we're going to do to protect the lace when we do the watercolor method and to keep it nice and transparent, we're going to go ahead and spray got to be glue spray all over the lace. When I say all over, I mean all over the lace so that it's protected when you put it in there. Because usually if you do not spray got to be glue spray, it's going to dye your lace. But this like helps protect it just a little bit more. So you're going to have to let this dry after you spray a few layers. You're going to have to let it dry for about like 10, 20 minutes until it's like hard, not sticky at all. And then you'll be ready to watercolor. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet the hair. Literally, I'm just going to wet it and then use my detangling comb to comb through it just a little bit. And the reason I'm doing this is because, honestly, it's better if the hair is wet. It makes it a lot easier for it to stick to the color once you get it into the bin. At this point I wasn't getting that much shedding as you can see just a few pieces of hair so now I'm putting very hot water into this bin now the water in my sink gets really hot on its own so I didn't have to boil water but if your sink water doesn't get hot to where there's like steam coming out you're gonna need to boil it so now I'm gonna start putting the hair into the water and this is about how much water I actually put in the bin I'm not sure how much that is but you can kind of see so literally what i'm gonna do is just squirt it into the bin i'm going to be putting all three colors inside of this bin and then i'm going to mix it up with a plastic knife and make sure you're wearing gloves because it's not going to stain your lace but it will stain your hands so make sure you have on gloves because at the end you will see that my gloves literally had so much color on them and if i didn't have on gloves that would have been on my hands and you don't want that Okay, so this is how it should look you're mixing it and you'll know it's all mixed up when you don't see any more like like clumps of hair dye in the bin you'll be able to see it even though you can't see it on camera you'll be able to see it and the color of the water should be really really dark at this point it shouldn't be light or you don't have enough color in there so now we're going to go ahead and grab the wig and you always want to do a test strand first to make sure it's the color you want and that is the color I want so I'm going to go ahead and dip in the entire wig. Now I'm going to be using my knife because this water is really really hot and you're going to see me using my hands at some point but I don't recommend that because it was really burning my hands like that was really hot. 
but yeah just make sure you get the hair saturated in that water really really good and it's gonna start coming onto the hair but not onto the lace and you'll start to see that nice cinnamon color coming out So you definitely want to comb through the hair just to make sure that that color is really getting through onto all pieces of hair because it would be very horrible if you finish this and you see a big blonde spot of hair. So make sure you're combing through it make sure you're spreading the hair out to make sure that every little piece is colored because as you can see I had a blonde piece right there so I'm putting it back in I'm making sure the hair is separated and getting on every single piece of hair. Another thing I want to mention is I think it's very useful to just dip the hair in and out, in and out, and not let it sit in there. Because I feel like when I let it sit in there for a long period of time, that's when it beats through the got to be glue and stains the lace. So it's much better if you dip it in and out versus just letting it sit in there. Because honestly, you don't even want to take that risk of having your lace messed up. So this is what the hair is looking like at this point. This is how the color is looking. This is exactly the color I wanted. It's nice and even. And when you see the water getting lighter, that's how you know you're pretty much done with the watercolor method. Like you saw how dark it was before and how light it is now. And you see that my lace is literally clear. There's nothing on my lace, no dye on my lace. So this method with the got to be glue definitely works in protecting the lace. So for this little final part right here, I'm just spreading it out just to make sure that everything is colored evenly because I do not want to pour this water out and then I see a blonde spot. So make sure you do this too before you actually wash and condition the hair. Okay, so now that I'm all done with the watercolor method, I'm just going to go ahead and pour this water out. And I just wanted to film this so that you guys could see how light the water is at this point compared to how it was at the beginning. I have a little screenshot on the screen of what color it was at the beginning in case you don't remember. So this is how you know that you're done when you can literally almost see through the water. Because before when it was dark, you couldn't see through it and now you can. So right now I'm just rinsing out the hair. You shouldn't be getting much hair color coming out at this step. And I'm just doing this before I shampoo the hair. And what I'm going to be using to shampoo my hair today is the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Shampoo. It looks like this. And you honestly only need about two pumps to actually wash the hair. And you'll see quite a bit of color coming out at this point. And that's completely normal. But trust me, the color will remain on the hair. And as you can see, my gloves have a lot of hair dye on it. So that's why I said wear gloves. Like, if you don't wear gloves, it's going to be horrible. But yeah, just go ahead and shampoo this. After I rinse the shampoo out, I'm going in with the Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Conditioner and I'm just going to condition this hair pretty thoroughly. You just want to make sure you're reviving it because you did put a lot of color on this already processed 613 hair. 
So yeah, just go ahead and put your conditioner on, work it through, and then you're gonna go ahead and take your detangling comb and comb through the hair. So now this is what it's looking like now that I've rinsed it out. That color, as you can see, is still there and it's nice and vibrant. And now I'm going to go ahead and take off these gloves, which have turned colors completely. So like I said, make sure you wear those gloves. So now I'm going to go ahead and start combing through the hair. And as you can see, the color is really, really nice. It looks a little bit more orangey and light brown than it really is in person. I'll try and put a picture on the screen of it in a different light that looks more like the color it looks like in person, but it is what it is. So that's how much hair I got out when I was detangling it. So I honestly will say there was quite a bit of shedding, like an enormous amount of shedding after I colored the hair on the detangling comb and also on the brushes you're getting ready to see me show you in a minute. So that's just something to keep in mind. But honestly, it was okay that it shedded because this hair was really, 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 really thick in the first place. Like it was extremely thick. So I feel like the shedding was needed. So honestly, wasn't that mad about the shedding. So now what I'm doing is I'm actually just parting the hair out to start plucking. I'm not going to show you guys the full plucking process because that takes quite a while and I'm honestly not even going to pluck this completely because I'm not going to be putting the wig on today in this video. I will be putting this wig on in a couple of weeks for Christmas but I just really needed to film this video right now and get it out but i'll show you guys what it looks like in a couple of weeks so turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when i actually do put this wig on i think it's gonna be really really cute but this is just how i plug i'm not like a professional plucker you should be getting a good amount of hair coming out when you are plucking that's all i can say don't pluck in the same spot or you'll get bald spots and i saw on someone's youtube channel to so just kind of like pluck in lines to get a more natural and less thick hairline So guys, this is pretty much how this hair turned out. It's honestly looking like a different color on camera. So I'm just going to put the color of cinnamon on the screen and that's exactly what this hair color looks like in person. But that's going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the bell to stay notified and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.